Hello students, this is Obhijit Shah from SNCS. Today we will discuss about your one geography topic, location, extent and physical features of India. Okay, so come to the first some information about India at a glance. That what is the location of India? 8 degree north to 37 degree north. So we can easily denote the extension of, of any country with the help of latitude and longitude. Okay, so India have also one distinct latitude extension and longitudinal extension. So the extension is 8 degree north to 37 degree north latitudes and 68 degree east to 97 degree east longitudes. Okay, and what is the total area of India? The area is 32,87,240 square kilometer. This is the total area of India. And the coordinates is uh, same like the location. And the highest peak of K2. Peaks K2. K2 or Gordon Austin is the highest peak of India. And it is situated in Jumbu and Kashmir. In Kanchanjunga. Capital city Delhi. And it is also called as N city or national capital territory. Okay. And the largest population city is Kolkata and our standard time that all, all country there have unique standard time and India's the standard time is calculated with the help of our meridian 82 and half degree east and it is extended just middle portion of the country and the, our standard time is 5 30 hours ahead of Greenwich mean time and all the time calculation are depends on the time of Greenwich and from the Guinness, those countries are extended towards the eastern part. Location and extent. India officially the sovereign socialist secular democratic and republic of India. So India have unique characteristics that India is sovereign, socialist, secular and democratic and republic of India. Country. Republic country. It is, is the world's seventh largest country. So according to the size, India carries the seventh position and with an area of about 3 million square kilometer and encompasses a various varied landscape rich in natural resources. So India have various kind of natural resources and uh, India is very rich in various with the help of resources. And the mainland of India extends from 8 degree north to 37 degree north latitude and from 68 degree east to 97 degree east longitude. Already I told regarding this that location 8 degree north to 37 degree north according to the latitude and according to the longitude it is from 68 degree east to 97 degree east next is its latitudinal and longitudinal extent is approximately the same and nearly 30 degrees so the difference between uh, two latitude is more or less 30 degree and the longitude is also more or less 30 degree okay and the andaman and the nicobar island extend further southwards and add to the, its latitudinal extent the north-south extent of the mainland in India from Kashmir in the north of Kannagumari in the south of south is 3214 3, km. So the distance in uh, in between north to south position is 3214 km. Its longitudinal extent from the Ranap Kutch in the west and Unachal Pradesh is the east is 2933 and the east-west distance is 2933 so what is the direction so the highest distance in between northern portion and the southern portion is 3214 3, and in the east west direction highest is 2933 kilometer this is the farthest distance the typical the topic of cancer passes through the middle of the country divided it into two latitudinal halves north temperature and south tropical lands okay so topic of cancer uh, pass through just middle portion of the country and that's for uh, in the in india their climatic condition is varied that first northern portion is temperate type and the southern portion is tropical type Although Tropic of Cancer divides India into two equal halves, India is essentially known as tropical country. So, India is known as tropical country. And the reasons are those of physical geography and cultural factors. The Indian Peninsula is bounded on three sides by water and in the north, India is separated from the rest of Asia by mountain walls, the great Himalayas. So, the boundary is like that, the three 
sides are covered with water bodies and the northern portion is uh, bounded by the greater Himalayas and forming the insulin compartment and the second reason is that the climate is dominated by the tropical monsoon and India's climate is basically dominated by the tropical monsoon that's what India is also known as tropical country. Next is India and its neighboring country. So India, India's border borders are both natural and man-made. So some borders are naturally situated and some are created by man. In the north, northwest and northeast India's international boundaries are found by the lofty Himalayas and its offshoots. So in the northern portion or northeast northwestern portion totally covered with the Himalayas and Himalaya situated as a boundary, natural boundary. In the south, southwest and southeast, its coast is washed by the Indian Ocean, the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal respectively. So in the southern portion, that means in the southeast portion, there have the Bay of Bengal. In the southwest portion, there have the Arabian Sea and totally uh, southern portion is covered with Indian Ocean. So three sides are fully covered with water bodies. Next is immediately across the Indian border in the north is the Tibet Plateau. There have the Tibet Plateau and the land of the sacred Kailash and the Manasarobo Lake. Our next immediate neighbor is China. So immediate neighbor that uh, northern north part northern part of the Himalaya. There have the China is the, in the northern part of the boundary along with the Himalayan Kingdom of Nepal and east of east to Nepal across Sikkim is Bhutan and in the northern portion there have also the another some uh, neighboring countries that Nepal, Sikkim and Bhutan. So India, India in India there have uh, in total 28 states okay and there have 9 territories or union territories this is uh, totally regulated by the central government okay